Hey guys, so um, just a quick video to let you guys know I'm still I'm still alive and kicking and um, still pulling in a little bit of gold every now and then. And I had a gold drop, as you can see here, yesterday. You might be able to see the little bit of gold in this in this corner down here. Um, this was a gold that was dropped from uh, processed hard drive. The, the ICs that come from hard drive boards as well as optical drive boards and um, did some measurements just to just basically doing a, a run of about half a kilo or so of those chips just to see uh, what exactly I get out of them but that's not really the point of this video um, what did actually happen is I got a very nice clean gold drop uh, for the first time in a while a properly you know one of those gold drops where you add the SMB sodium metabisulfite and basically within a half an hour everything is settled to the ground and it's clumped together amazingly when you um, when you start moving the beaker around a little bit and I attribute the very nice clean gold drop to the process that I followed with these particular chips I was being extra vigilant in all my processes and it's it really does pay off to be super vigilant and do everything as as best as you can so what I did do here is when I had finished the blue bowl process to basically separate the heavier metals from everything that was not metal I uh, used hydrochloric acid as usual to get rid of the tin and I let it sit for for quite a long time on a very low heat so probably about 50 degrees Celsius or so for hours until there was absolutely no more reaction then I got rid of the I poured off the hydrochloric acid um, I did do a Stannis test just to make sure there was no golden solution but there hardly ever is uh, at that point um, and there wasn't in this case and so the next step is that I um, dried out the the material so at that at that point it was bond wires and icy legs that that went through the sieves and things like that and I basically then at that point um, put the put the beaker on a on a very cool hot plate to dry out all that material and then I used a gas flame in a in a stainless steel container to to heat all of the material up to a like like a dull red color Bef uh, so that that basically then gets rid of any uh, potential stannous chloride that remains from dissolving tin using the hydrochloric acid and also gets rid of any any hydrochloric acid still in the material um, after that I went through the usual process of using nitric acid to get rid of as much as possible of the of the copper material now you'll notice that the solution here is not clear it's still got quite a lot of blue color to it so there is definitely still a bit of copper in the solution and I think the reason for that is even though I let that process go up to the point where there was hardly any reaction is because some of the copper wire that you end up dealing with is actually gold plated and it's very difficult to eat away all the all the copper inside um, a plated gold cylinder it's a very difficult thing to do with with any acid and so that's why we still even even after doing the nitric acid cleaning uh, I still have the bit of blue color here uh, in my aqua regia solution so after that I went through the normal steps and I ended up with this this gold drop here and it's not it's not super it's not a large amount of gold but the thing is and it doesn't show up that well it actually it moves around as a clump you might be able to see it there there you go it beautifully clumped together is about as good as and that's that's an excellent sign of um, of of pure gold uh, it drops really quickly and it clumps together really well so yeah that's basically just thought we'd have a quick chat about about your process and how to get your gold very nice and um, very nice and pure and get very clean drops so that uh, with a drop like this you would not have to do a secondary fine to get into the high 
point some things uh, purity for your gold. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've got a, a couple more uh, videos planned for this week. So hopefully now that things have settled down a bit, I should be able to uh, put out a few videos here and there of my uh, gold recovery. Okay, nice to uh, be back. Talk to you guys later.